Hey my thrifty friends, how is it going? Tabs here from the Urban Goddess Shop. Today's video, we're gonna go over how you turn your photos from this to this. Huge difference, right? It is super simple. For today's video, we are gonna go over using natural light because that's how I photograph things. I believe that's like the best way. We're gonna go beginning to end how I make my pictures look like magic. I've had other resellers reach out to me and they're like, I can tell your pictures. Like when your listings pop up on Poshmark, I know which listings are yours by the quality of photos. And this is the way I see it. This is why I think it's so important to master your pictures and your listings because if you had a choice between this listing and this one, and this is the exact same item and the exact same price, which listing are you gonna buy? I mean, yeah, some of us, we go and we shop and we're looking for the best deals and the crappiest pictures. Realistically, as a seller, I wanna have the best pictures so that I get top dollar for my listings. And this is another comment I hear all the time. How do you get so much money for your items? I honestly think, the, and this is something I thought of really hard when I first started reselling was, how do I set my items apart from other people's? How do I draw in the buyers? How do I make buyers trust me to purchase my items right and i think a lot of it breaks down into your photos all the pictures that you take your storefront things like that i am a firm believer in your storefront should look uniform for me that's white background white background and all my pictures are kind of like pretty close to the same zoom usually it's just the article of clothing so if i had a full body stock photo that i was using i would crop it so that it's just showing the item that i'm selling i don't do whole body because people want to see items up close and personal they want to see all the little details right okay so let's go over this right now i'm in my office this is not where i do my listing i did hang a snazzy hook i'm going to show you guys you see it i did hang a hook up there when i first redid this office to work in it i just haven't mastered the lighting in here and because i feel like lighting is such a huge part of the photos that you're taking and if you talk to any photographer lighting is it right? That's why they take family and group photos during the golden hour, because the lighting is beautiful. Everyone looks fabulous. Good lighting. It'll sell an item. All right, let's head downstairs and we're going to go over kind of the different aspects and, and what I think works. And then we're also going to edit a photo. I do use photo room. I'm not sponsored. I have no affiliation with them, but I highly recommend them as an app. We're going to break that down and I'm going to use photo room to show you what I do for my photos. Okay. Let's turn this around. All right, I am down in our dining room. This is where I do all of my photography. I do have to use daylight, so obviously I have to list items when there's good daylight. I love probably end of April till maybe like mid-October because the hours are really good. I can usually list from like 8, 8 a.m. till probably 7 p.m. and that gives me some flexibility in my day so that I'm not always having a list in the middle of the day. Okay, I'm gonna break this down, I'm gonna show you. So on the wall, I just have a 3M hook. Uh, I don't mind it. I Usually I crop out, like if it's on a hanger, I'm gonna show you guys, we'll grab an item. So usually if I have it on here, when I take the photo and crop it, I'm gonna crop it off on the hanger. So that doesn't show anyways. And I think I have a five pound weight hang, um, hook thing <laughs> that way it could support a pretty heavy coat if i needed to yeah I, I feel like it works really good i have no complaints thing that i have put on that hook that it couldn't handle i would recommend them i've bought a couple of them i have some to put up in my office room and hopefully one day i do my listing there but for right now i'm really just digging the light here so this wall that i photograph on this is a west facing wall and then i'm going to show you right here this is our dining room windows so there's a lot of natural light and then we also have cellular blinds these aren't blackout blinds they're just kind of like pull down i don't know white shades i guess i don't even know what you call them you can't see through them but they're not completely dark like blackout if that makes sense but i i feel like you could have um a white sheer curtain i don't know if you would want it super thin but just something that diffuses the light. So this really, those blinds diffuse all the light in this room, which give me a really natural lighting, really neutral tone. I don't end up with a lot of shadows, which is super important when you're doing listing because it just makes it easier when you have to edit them after. 
And uh, yeah, and then the other little hack I have, I have a couple other ones, but this is the one I prefer. I can stack, I think I've had up to 30 items hanging on that, uh, on that hook. It's not uncommon for me to see 30 items hanging on there. So it, it can hold its weight. And what I like to do is I will prep everything. I'll bring them down here. Sometimes I'll like hang them over a chair. And then as I photograph them and list them, I just kind of stagger them onto the onto the hooks. And it's just an easy way to store them until I'm ready to do my measurements and things like that. Depending on the lighting that's happening during the day, I find it really depends where the sun is. Sometimes it'll put nasty shadows on my on my wall or I'll end up with like really bright strips. I can just pull these down and then I don't end up with the the bright light strips going across the wall. I, if you photograph a natural lighting, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, this is it. This is where all the magic happens. This is like, I always say, this is the hook that bears the weight of my entire business. This Everything depends on this hook on this wall. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go into um, record my screen and I'm gonna show you exactly how I do my photos and then we'll go into editing. All right, so I like to go to the square mode, put that through right away and center the item, make sure it takes up majority of the screen. This way I don't have to edit it later. I also like to take a top corner picture, close up the tag with the size usually. Then I'll go down and I'll do kind of like a pocket with my hand in it, just showing that it's a pocket and then a bottom hem or any tags. Then I'll do a back picture, again centered, and find the material content tag. That is pretty much it. I do the same photos for every item, pretty much. Uh, obviously, if there's extra details or things that I want to grab, I'll do that as well. But this is my standard pictures. This is the same. You should be able to snap through photos in less than two minutes. All right, next we're gonna head into Photo Room and let's do some editing. This is my favorite app to use. I do pay for the yearly membership, which removes the watermark. First thing we're gonna do is add the photo. We're gonna do a single edit and let it do its magic, removes the background, puts it on a white background. Typically, I like to make sure this is centered and taking majority of the screen. Then I go down to adjust and I do shadows and I like to remove shadows. This is like basically the only edit I really do on my photos and this will naturally brighten it up. It'll also remove some small creases, things like that. Uh, here, I'm gonna do a little bit of brightness and to me, it looks great. That's it. I would save it and that's the cover photo. So if I only had one picture to do, that's what I would do. But a lot of times I'm doing batching. So I can come in here, pick a template of a photo I've already edited, apply to multiple images, and it's gonna do the exact same adjustments to all the pictures I select. So I'm just gonna randomly select a bunch of photos that I had to edit, and it's just gonna go through them one by one. I'm just gonna shrink it with my fingers, make it fit better shrink it with my fingers. Again, I've already adjusted shadows and brightness matching the previous item, and I'm able to edit four items really quickly and then save to my camera. This is how I list quickly. And I think it's worth paying the $86.99 for these features. And that is literally it. I wish there was more to this video. I wish I had 20 minutes of explaining to do. It's literally that simple. If you take photos in good lighting, you don't have to worry about editing. It's super minimal. All I do most of the time is just change the shadows. Just changing the shadows is enough to brighten it, kind of reduces any creasing. Obviously, all my items are prepped. They are steamed, they are delinted, they are rolled, they are shaved, whatever has to be done. That has been done prior to me photographing. And when I come home, I feel like because I'm so selective in what I'm thrifting now, and I'm not a bin shopper, so I'm not getting, you know, gross, crappy stuff, because of the way I'm sourcing, most of the stuff is in really good condition. I usually don't have to clean it up too much. If I feel like there's too much work to put into an item, I just don't pick it up. Hi, Callie. What's up? I'm just recording a video right now. Are you coming in? No? Okay. I'll take you for a walk in five minutes. Okay. <laughs> That is my cue that I need to wrap this up. Uh, yeah, so that's it. Good lighting. Make sure you have a soft blind or curtain that diffuses the light but still lets enough in. That'll reduce the 
uh, indifferences or the like lighting tricks, I guess, that it plays on your items. You gotta be careful because sometimes when it's like the golden hour, it'll actually turn all of your items really warm. So I try and avoid the golden hour and that changes throughout the year depending when the sun is going down. I do not like to list or at least take photographs in that time because it really distorts the tone of your pictures and the less you have to edit, the better. Do you have any questions? Is there anything that you're unsure about or maybe some tips that you guys want on photography or editing? I Like I showed you how I do the edit if I'm doing a single item or why I pay for pro because then I can do that bulk editing and that bulk editing is so quick. Like I actually prefer to list items that don't have stock photos because it's so quick for me to edit the photo rather than having to search and find the style and the stock photo and things like that. I think that's why I love vintage sweaters so much because they're so simple and easy. Like I can bang those out so fast. All right guys, this is it. This is how you're going to turn your photos from those kind of murky, shady looking ones that people are questioning when they're looking at to these storefront fabulous pictures. These pictures sell items and it's super simple. Good lighting, neutral tone wall, a little bit of an edit and you should be good to go. All right, drop in the comments. Let me know if you have anything you want to add, any questions. I'm happy to help you guys out because we are all about growing together, sharing and growing our businesses together. I'm out of here. I hope you have a wonderful week. I am wishing you many sales and I will see you next time. Bye.